Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here. Welcome to today's video. So today's video will see the start of the series that I've been wanting to do for so long. But because I've been suffering from recovering from a stroke, it's just simply not been possible. So today's video sees the start of a series of me buying a very cheap PC off of eBay, putting Linux on it and using it as a daily driver for literally everything. So first of all, let's introduce the PC for you. So it was a custom built from a company called Stone Desktop Systems, uh, basically a business PC. It's an old Vista class. I didn't really want the PC. I was laying in hospital and I saw it on eBay for $24.99. Now, I'd already purchased a Core i5 with 8 gig of RAM off the same seller a few days before, so I really didn't want this PC. But it was advertised at $24.99, so I sent the seller a message. It's a, a Core 2 Duo E8400 running at 3 gigahertz with 4 gigs of RAM, no hard disk drive. So I sent him a message saying, look, don't particularly want the PC, but I will buy it if you're happy to take $14.99, including free postage. Well, I expected him to tell me to naff the feck right off with pleasure. However, <laughs> of course he didn't, did he? Because I wasn't that bothered and didn't particularly want to buy the PC. Uh, he messaged back saying, yep, I'll take $14.99. I'll even post it for free for you. So as you can see, I actually paid $14.99 for the PC. And that was with four gigs of dual channel RAM, which was amazing. The PC duly arrived, absolutely immaculate condition. And I mean immaculate. And it had got two... Uh, two gigabyte gigs uh, sticks of four gigs of RAM in total, no hard disk drive. And I thought to myself, well, for fourteen ninety nine, that is fantastic value for money. When you think just how much an entry level Chromebook's going to cost you, 160, 170 quid plus for a brand new one, of course. And we've got actually <clears throat> as good, if not better specs on this old desktop PC. Now, yes, of course, it's a desktop. Unlike a Chromebook, it's not a laptop, so it's not portable. But hopefully you'll see where I'm coming from. So that cost me $14.99. So then I thought to myself, well, what are we going to do with this PC to make it all singing, all dancing and super fast? Well, we need to add an SSD, which I did, a little 128 gigabyte SSD, about eight quid off of eBay. And then I added an AMD Raiden XFX uh, HD 6700 two gigabyte graphics card, because it only got inbuilt graphics. And two gigabyte is absolutely fine. So for a total of about 24 quid, we've got ourselves a really cracking little PC that can pretty much do it all and over the coming series I'll be showing you exactly what it can do um, and I think it will absolutely blow your neck off now I was interested because I did do a poll and I think only one or two people um, suggested that I use Lubuntu Linux most people went with Manjaro or Puppy or you know uh, which surprised me quite a bit, really. I don't know why Lubuntu doesn't get the love it deserves on YouTube and on the internet and in the community as a whole. Because Lubuntu is a super fast, super lightweight operating system. <clears throat> a lot of people will say, well, why are you using Linux in the first place? Well, if you think about it, Microsoft Windows, Apple Mac and Google Chrome all have one nasty feature in common. They all have operating system side scanning and reporting, which again, if you think about it, makes total sense. So what it can do is it can scan and take um, data off your live screen and send it back to wherever it wants to send it. So what, Ebs? Who cares? Well, think about your WhatsApp end-to-end -end encryption, 
But if the operating system is scanning your messages from the screen before it's encrypted, it kind of makes a laughing stock of your whole end-to-end -end encryption, doesn't it? Of course, as we know, Linux doesn't have operating system side scanning as standard. So it's just a nice little security feature that's inbuilt right out the box. Is it giving you anonymity on the internet? Is it making you the most unbreakable privacy person ever on the internet? Absolutely not. But, but, it is giving you that little extra layer of security and peace of mind that everything that you're looking at on the screen, neither Microsoft, Apple or Google are also looking at it. Just saying. So I decided to go with Lubuntu. This is 22.04 Jammy Jellyfish. It is the LTS release. Um, and I'll be doing uh, a full series of how I've got on with it, uh, what the experience, the installation experience, installing and setting up software, and also the operating system in general is like. I'm absolutely delighted with it, thrilled with it. As I say, I'm very, very shocked that more people are not using this operating system. You have, would, of course, on this class of PC with a 128 gigabyte SSD, have the option to use one of the myriad of puppy Linuxes, Antix Linux, MX Linux, or any other super lightweight as such described Linux. However, for me, Lubuntu is the perfect choice because Lubuntu is, first of all, a mainstay distribution so it is a genuine ubuntu distribution it's not a one-man band or a team of enthusiasts that are maintaining it it's been around for a long while yes it's dumped lxde and gone to lxq and it's taken lubuntu quite a while to get that lxq really really nicely polished which it now is I used to be one of the biggest criticisers of it, but it's absolutely beautiful now it's up and running. Super lightweight, and on a dual-core PC, it's exactly what you want. So, as you can see, we're recording a video. Both the cores are flat out, which you'd expect. We're currently using about 1.5 gigs of RAM to make the video, which is perfect. And even though the cores are really, really busy, that doesn't stop it still functioning as a super lightning fast PC. In the coming series, I'll be covering absolutely everything from coding to AAA gaming using this PC and show you various different ideas, ways and methods and solutions that you may be craving, all from the security of a beautiful Linux operating system. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.